All right, so Len Nevin here with Icon Blueprint. I am going to kind of share something that I was just personally working on here a minute ago, right? So I'm going through my tasks. Um, I'm not really going through my tasks because that's the wrong way to say it. Um, in Lofty, one of the things that I've been playing with is not doing as many tasks, but being more purposeful about you know moving through, right? So when I click, the way I'm doing is I'm working through my segments. So um, I'm finding that a lot more um, valuable for working through leads versus you know tasks. Like I used to always be like, all right, every week, every two weeks, every two days, every three days, whatever the the task was, and the name popped up over and over and over again. And so by going through the segments and having it set up to auto remind inside of there. So um, you know what? Instead of telling you, let's show you. So um, I'm gonna go into here here in a minute. Okay, so. Inside of the segments, let's see if this will let me do it here. I'm gonna click on this. All right, segment list, right? So inside the segment list, I've got these different segments kind of put in here, right? So um, I've got my campaign set up. So if somebody responds, and this is, um, I think his name is Adam, hooked me up with this little tidbit. But if I've got a campaign going and somebody responds, boom, it's gonna go in and says responded, parse out, right? So I'm real big about making sure that anytime somebody responds, they get parsed through, right? Um, so that's this. Need to parse out, that's, you know, farming stuff, all sorts of different things get put into there and I just wanna, you know, it's like categorize them, right? Like keep, keep things organized is really what parse out means. And as you can see with 291 leads in there, I'm doing a great job of that. Um, need to contact, uh, that that goes into certain spots, but the idea is that these people are going to stay on top of it. Like every day, it's going to remind me, right? So it's going to stay inside this section right here. It's going to say, you know, need to parse out. I've done mine for the day, but it'll show every day. So I, it'll it's going to warn me. It'll have a little red dot next to that if I'm not on top of that. And so inside these different things are you know your super hot leads so let's just talk about that right so super hot i have is you know and i just for my own waiting in my own brain i have it set to kind of remind me hey that's you know somebody who's less than 30 days hot that's 30 to 90 days warm blah 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 and then this is just the follow-up pattern right so as you're putting people through i can click on this and it tells me these are the categories i need to put in here i actually just added this today where i put a timer on the sphere of influence. I don't know why I hadn't done that before, but basically anybody who's in here every 90 days, um, it's gonna load people in here. Now I still have 90% of my database is still in KB Core. I'm moving everything over. It's just, you know, I wanna make sure that I'm doing it right. So I'm kind of taking my time. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but I'm moving it over as, you know, at the right speed, I guess for me. And so working through my super hot leads, um, there was a lead that was in there and for the last two weeks they haven't really been looking at anything right and so I'm like how do I get this person re-engaged right like what can I text them and so it's a question I ask our team all the time right like what are what do buyers care about well buyers only care about property they don't give a crap about me um, they shouldn't you know sellers they don't really give a crap about me either they just care about what's their house worth so if I'm trying to come up with something to send if it's a seller, I'm gonna send them comps. Hey, here's where your prop, you know, your neighbor's house that's got the same floor plan as you just closed for X. If I'm a buyer, I'm gonna send them a few properties. So um, there's a couple there's a couple ways to do it, but what I found to be the most effective is inside like the super hot. So I'll just go over what I did today is I just went over and I hit listings and on my other screen, because I have what you can't see is I got three screens up here, right? One, two, three. Um, my wife's always like, you're like a day trader. I'm like, no, I'm day realtor. Um, but so I would just, you know, I did my search in the MLS. And as you can see here, you can't really do a search. You kind of can. You're like, but th these are very minimal categories, right? Like this is, you can't really do a lot of searching in here um, to send properties. So I did my search in MLS and I basically just popped addresses in, right? So that pop that one in. And what's cool is you can pop in more than one, right? 
And so as you're popping these in, two things are happening. One, you're loading them up. And I basically was telling this guy, I said, hey, here's some new homes that are available for sale. I think you might want to check them out. So I popped these four in here. I do wish they had a select all. I'm just going to be picky about this right now. Um, if they have a select all and I'm just blind as a bat and I can't see it, but you did, I had to click, you know, click, click, click. So now I've got these four properties. You'll notice the second I did that, this little send to leads come up. So I'll show you that in a second. I want to show you another thing that's really cool is if you look, look at that 49 of my leads that's matched 49, 36, 38. So I have other leads that are interested in these properties. That's another video that I'll do, but just kind of a cool little side note. But I went over to here, send to leads. I typed in the person's name. I, mean, I got all these names. These So these are people that, you know, I, honestly, I don't think that it said that these are ones that are ready to go. Um, but, you know, just for the sake of, I'm trying not to show not too much personal stuff because YouTube will actually delete videos if you show personal information, phone numbers, addresses, email. But I'm giving my permission here because this is me. So I can put in here, click here. Now I can either email this or I can text it. I prefer text. Um, so there, this person was already getting emails, but they weren't opening them. So I'm trying to re-engage, right? And when I was clicking on that one field, I could see that they had opened up emails at one point. Let me see if I can show that without pulling up too much contact information um, over here. Let's see if it... So under engagement, I can show you this. Let's see. Yeah. So I'll squeeze this in. And I'll just cut it off before it shows the personal information. How do you like that? Um, no. Um, let's do it this way. So where the heck did I go? Anyways, I'll have to hold it here for a second. But you can see, like up on the top, it says property alerts. 33 cent, three opened. So it shows me that I've got an email that is clicking, right? Um, nine market snapshots sent, three open. Four market reports sent, two open. So looking at the lead, I can see what they've opened um, inside of that. So I see that they've opened, but then I go through um, the activities tab and inside of the email, I can see it's been a minute, right? Like sent, 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 but I'm not seeing opened. So I need to get them to re-engage. So how I did that was I basically just went into here, grabbed this, this is automatically, this is my my number here, this is my number, so these are both my phone numbers, so just for you YouTube people, um, these are my numbers, I'm okay with them being out there, call me, buy a house. Um, that's it, so I could just copy and paste this, and like maybe I'm not gonna do this whole, you know, AI written thing. So I'll write my own thing, whatever I want to put in here, but that's the search. And so what was cool was once I clicked that or I, I wrote it up, sent it. And then all of a sudden, not 20 minutes later, there he is back to site. So that's what I like about it. Right? So I sent it off. He opened it. And so I can see, I was able to see that in real time that that was opened and that's what I wanted to show you today. So when you're sending off properties, um, you know, we have the tendency sometimes, cause I'll just kind of give you a quick glimpse in our MLS. So inside of my MLS, I can just go into here and I can just grab a property. So if I wanted to, it's gotta be something. Okay. So I could grab this property right here. And if I wanted to share this, I could just go up to the details page here. Oh, sorry, share, and I can share a link. And so that's what most agents are doing is they share this link. Well, I don't know if they opened it or not. Um, I also know that the experience they have is not gonna be that great. So it's just gonna be like this plain boring click, you know, link. So my job is to give them a better experience so that's where we send them to Lofty, which is a better user experience. It's more visually appealing. So sending off listings to a client via text message, now you know how. Catch you next time.